I'll be yours till the end of time, cause you make me feel, yeah, you make me original rum shakers.
Imagine you're a 14 year old girl who's going to a clinic alone to get her birth control prescription renewed. Her Converse sneakers are stuffed, her head is affixed to the ground. Four? Mm, five, maybe even six. An idea can be as soft as your favorite blanket or have clean, sharp corners. Imagine you're 23 and you just met a cute woman. Yesterday, she told you you make her melt. This dream girl has you reading sex tips online like it's the latest Kardashian gossip. But imagine you're in a wheelchair and you have been since a car accident when you were five. Imagine you can't contain your excitement about this new girl. Imagine, imagine wanting to talk to your family doctor about becoming sexually active. Imagine this sexual history has always just been skipped for you. Six? Seven. Ideas are the static between syllables. Micropositive build up to the brain. Imagine you're in the ER. Your name is Bill. You're a plaid shirt wearing, beer drinking, baseball cap kind of guy. And you cut your arm pretty badly working in your carpentry shed yesterday. Imagine the nurse comes out and calls Lydia because this hospital doesn't use preferred names. You've been Bill in mind and body for over a year now, so you ignore her. You let the blood continue to soak into your bandage. She comes out and calls Lydia again. Imagine everyone's heads turning to face you as you get up and walk towards her. Definitely a 10. Definitely. Imagine you're an eight-year-old man and you've just met the love of your life. Her name is Emily. She swears, owns three overweight shih tzus, and loves to correct you. She's so beautiful that just being around her makes your face feel sunburned. But in a good way. Imagine wanting to explore sex with her, but there's this hurt that keeps gnawing in your bones and it scares you. Imagine you think sex is very personal, very private. Imagine having to ask a 25-year-old resident for help. Ideas can be draped, wrapped, and folded like a sheet. Imagine a 14-year-old girl won't look you in the eyes and try to connect with her as you try to... Imagine you just want to cradle a patient in your arms because you know the news you're about to deliver will shatter their world as you try to... Imagine that you also think that sex is private and you feel your discomfort rising on you like a heat wave as he tells you about his news. As, as you, you try, try to... One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Try to understand. An idea is like a skyscraper, detached and overlit. With revolving metal doors and, and a sense of limitless possibility that could cover the whole left side of the moon. like we're taught to us children. Pass, Pass the pepper. Try talking to a therapist. They told me. I remember how the therapist's armchair swallowed me up as I sat down in it. Very low to the ground. Vulnerable. It's just so much easier to say. She's depressed. This is a cry for attention. Pass the potatoes. Ideas can be kept at the dinner table. In the salt and under seats. So where did you two meet? When did he and his family move to Canada? She asked me his name and foreign sounding syllables escaped my lips. After all, the man I'd accuse was someone they all knew. A friend. Just not that kind of guy, you know. Pass the peas. I quickly learned that people would rather not believe you, so I guess I must be lying. Right? I'm crazy, right? Are they right? Perhaps this was the kind of place people like me ended up. Back to being treated like a child. The physician was seated on an equally squashy armchair. She wouldn't get up out of it. She didn't even to greet me when I arrived. I, could, I took a deep and shaky breath, and I bare my soul to her. I told her about that night, the night I learned what it meant to have my body treated with hate instead of love, the night my trust shattered on the floor of my dorm room. I craved some reassurance. 
to hear a doctor say, you're not crazy. What happened to you wasn't right. What did I know? Past the salt. That must have been very traumatic for you. Unfortunately, that's a very common problem amongst those types of men. In future, be sure to choose partners. She scribbled away on a pad of paper. She seemed very interested in my abuser's family and his background. Partners of our own kind. Ideas live in squashy armchairs. I fall silent. Previous appointments have been spent in getting me on medications with drugs that make my brain zap, my heart race, and my sleep elusive. Drink Ovaltine, be in bed by 8.30, avoid parties, television, alcohol, caffeine, and sad music. <laughs> A piece of cake for any undergrad. <laughs> Through the shame, guilt, fear, anger, depression, and chaos, I reached out for help. Try talking to a therapist? He's just not that kind of guy. She's depressed. This is her cry for attention. She's crazy. Crazy. You're not crazy. What happened to you wasn't right. So I got up, thought a word, and walked out of that therapist's office. And never went back. Some ideas benefit from being laid belly out for everyone to see. All done? I'm having a hard time. Ideas can cure. It's normal for some women to feel pain during intercourse. In most cases, it's just anxiety. You should try relaxing more. All the times he would grab my arms too hard. Ideas can kill. I didn't realize how violent it was. Later on, after I left, I realized that if I was too scared to stand up to him, there was probably a reason. Somehow, he always had a way of getting me to give in. I have to be careful. I have to be careful. Something's probably wrong on your end. It's not worth it to me. Are you getting enough sleep? I have been pretty nervous lately. Your relationships can give you curious. It'll feel good for you too if you can just get past this. Yeah. I'm trying to fix it. It's not easy. Ideas can bruise arms. You're hurting me. Can we just do something else, please? You're important to me. Come on. I'm going to do this to you. No matter what. Clearly, suck it up. You can't do this to me. Ideas can be a dry cough in the dark. All the times he wouldn't take his hands off. All the times I realized he could overpower me. And every thin, straight scar he carved into his own upper arm. But I never wanted it. And he knew it. I give up. You win. An idea is left unattended can grow arms with hands that dig and dig. An idea is left uninterrogated can erode flesh to bone. Na, 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 na. Five little monkeys jumping, jumping on a net. Monkeys went on a long and vomited his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and vomited his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. is playful and beautiful and childlike, with googly eyes and chalk just all over your hands. Abstinence 
virtue. I've been hearing these words since I was old enough to understand them. It's a girl's way of living. Your virtue is very important, and you need to keep it until marriage. For your religious beliefs, your own good, and the pride of the family. I've never understood why, in my tradition, a woman needed to prove her virginity on the day of her wedding. Blood on white linen. A gift, a given. To think that some cultures would go so far as to request a virginity proof from a doctor before validating marriage. I hope that no doctor would abide by those kinds of practices. Because from what I know, my hymen does not de define my virginity, and my virginity doesn't define my worthiness as a partner or as a person. And the most confusing part is that the culture that raised me to be virtuous is the same one that grooms me to be a skilled woman in the bedroom. I've grown up in a culture in which sex is taboo at large. One, two. two. An idea jumps ropes and skips rocks and plays the tuba too loud on a Tuesday. One, One. two. It is commonly discussed in circles of women where all the more experienced women will tell you all about the kinky, naughty stuff you could do to entertain your husband. One, one two. two. The orgasm whisper. Every girl needs one. Calls a Paul in the magazine. <laughs> one, one, two. An idea sits with you in the front seat of your car as you're talking to your mom about your day. Husband, not your boyfriend. They'll tell you about the latest trends in incidents and traditional lingeries and all the activities and meals you need to excel at. We even have specialized erotic market where everything is displayed out in the open for everyone to see. The same goes for Western societies. Life was all about sex. Betty Rock was positioned every match to know GQ. But wait, did they expect me to be virtuous on the outside but a vixen on the inside? Lady in the street, but a freak in the bed, I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ideas live in song lyrics. Ideas live in magazine articles. And sex is it's plastered everywhere. But, but wait, do they, they expect, expect me to keep all this knowledge until I get married and never practice it? <laughs> Sexuality. Regardless of the religious, traditional, conventional, impositions of a narrowly prescriptive society. Some ideas are best when they're laid out, belly up, for everyone to see. You work and no dig, you gotta back it up, baby. I broke specimens from the dig. 
Okay, well, might as well go through them. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Growing up in a traditional Italian family, sex was a taboo subject that was never discussed. I remember my mother, her grandmother, always used to preach no sex before marriage. While I like the idea of my children waiting, I'm more of a preacher of waiting until you're ready. Waiting until you find someone you care about or love. I never really talked about sex with my friends except for making jokes. I've been conditioned from a young age to have a double standard when it comes to women. Some, some ideas can be unhelpfully constructed. Yes? Like a set of perfect china? Yeah, or yeah. fresh pressed linen? Yeah, like a, like a perfectly organized pantry. A well-made bed. A rush of excitement. A blush and a giggle. 
Sometimes ideas start in your parents' basement, over flat ginger ale and under muffled music, and on a ten year old couch covered in dog hair. <laughs> Sometimes ideas can have you waking up happy and skipping home for days. and sharing food. I hope red wine is okay. I'm not that much of a fan of white. Actually, I'm more of a beer person than a wine person. I wonder if I want if she wants to have sex tonight. Do, do I want to have sex tonight? Wine is great. I mean, I love beer too. Not the IPAs, but yeah, the red is great. So, do you have a favorite bar here in the city? I haven't been here long enough to really know yet. She's making some serious eye contact. I think I know what that means. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Do you have any favorites? I wonder if she's ready. She looks a bit rattled. Am I ready? It's been like, like four dates. So, so there's this really great place in my friend's house. We should go sometime. When was the last time I even showered? I ran right over here from the hospital today. That's just, that's just great. I would like that. When was the last time you even had sex? Oh, literally the most intimate relationship I've been in all year has been with the new curriculum. <laughs> She finishes her drink. Mais voilà, j'ai perdu patience. Je pensais qu'on pourrait se parler, partager un verre, rire et s'écouter. Pardon, tu dois y aller. D'accord, je comprends. Alors, c'est ça ce verre de thé. So this is what it feels like to be rejected. Expect to be 
thin enough to be naked. Expect to perform. Expect that they orgasm. Expect to know what you want and what you need. Expect to be beautiful and feminine and normative. Expect to be knowledgeable, but expect to be compliant. Expect self-doubt, fear, shame, disappointment, a space to feel safe, a space with no judgment, no expectations, no fear of rejection. Talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. But before a scene has more than a collection of their symptoms, more than a series of answers, standardized questions, an idea is a safe space with warm light and warm people who cast friendly shadows on the wall with their open palms. An idea can live in a glass on a nightstand gathering wind. Ideas can be soft or sharp, clean or cornered. Ideas live in song lyrics, in magazine articles, in the he said, she said, and on the bottom of your shoe. Ideas live in squashy armchairs, and in the salt, and on the dinner table. And most ideas are best when they're laid out, belly up, for everyone to see. An idea is a safe place, and it lives in open palms. An idea can be stigma, an idea can be skyscrapers. An idea are rediscoveries and vibrations, and they don't like to be ignored. Ideas can be folded, wrapped, draped, and even skipped over. Ideas can cure. Ideas can kill. Ideas can raise eyebrows and cast shadows and warm the cold light in a room. An idea, if left uninterrogated, can erode flesh to bone. An idea, if you let it, can be a lesson. An idea, if you let it, can change the world.